Hi guys, Andre from Howling Moon. I get a lot of questions about how to mount our 2.5 uh, Swing Ones 200 series. I'm going to take you through some of the nicks and necks on how we get it to fit nice and easily. Basically, you just position the awning about 50 mils from the end. That way, the last beam clears the top of the rack and it's pretty much in parallel with that rack. What that allows is when you open up the back spoiler, she might just touch there and she'll just sit on the top of that. You can alleviate some of that pressure if you wanted to completely by just dropping a leg down and lifting that last beam up. And that should clear the spoiler completely now. And then she's just about fully open and she's just resting on this. You're not hitting it by any way. Uh, come around the side. I'll just show you the Rhino brackets we sell as an accessory. What we find is the rhinos sides are, are quite flimsy. So what we've done is we've got an extension bar reaching the second sort of runner and they bolted it on. You can buy the rhino backwing brackets if you want your awning slightly lower and then buy an extension bar. Just tell me to include the extension bars for you. But what that does is drops the awning slightly lower and then you have a bit more of an issue with that crossbar coming across. Anyway, drop us an email, jump on our website, howling moon but come to the AU. Go live it, guys.